Hey guys, and how's it going? Yeah, I saw this in the side of the road, kind of out with the trash. See, it's got a, looks like a broken switch, and I have a feeling it probably doesn't turn very well. I tried to turn it with my finger, and it's very draggy. So, why don't we take this, maybe you can make a new shop fan out of it, if we can get it to run. Before I bring it in, I'm going to go hit it with the pressure washer, try to do the best to avoid the motor, but get rid of all this dust and crap that's on it, and see if we can bring it back to life. Well, it's actually the next day. I just hit it with the hose and knocked all that crap off that was on it. Tried to stay away from the motor. Shall we? <laughs> See what we get. Just look at her go. Yes. I have a couple of these as it's in the garage. And it has done this to me in the past. A lot of times you can do the old <laughs> jump start. And somebody probably got sick of doing that. We know what it is. Well, we know what it's doing. Let's go see if we can fix that. Let's get this upper shell off. They have a set screw on that blade. Yeah, right there, I'm gonna get that out. We'll get the blade off, and we'll get access to the motor. I'm guessing that we probably got like a bunch of packed in hair or dirt or dust. Probably hair. Somewhere already. Let's see if we can get these four off and pull this cap out of the way. In cap. Probably holds the whole thing on. Goes right through. Let's see if you just lift one side off though. It's like foam or grease. Let's go poke at that with a stick. I think that's supposed to be grease. But instead, it's kind of like... Yeah, it's really kind of dried up, whatever it is. Well, it spins pretty free. I wonder if it's just a buildup of glazing. I don't know if you can see. YouTube has uh, knocked their resolution down to 480, so it's hard to see stuff. I wonder if it's just like a glazing that's on there. See if the rest will lift right out. Yeah. You could definitely see on the motor on this side where it's, it's actually got some galling right in the shaft. And this side looks pretty smooth. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I don't feel any like oil on there though. I say we go clean that up on the wire wheel. And let's go poke at it. It's got the same stuff down below. I'm guessing that would be a grease. I wonder if it just got overheated and baked or a lot of times the way grease works even like on bearings it, it 
they start generating some heat, you know, like your wheel bearing in your car, you, you get kind of pack a lot of grease around it. If it starts to go dry and, and heats up, it actually, the, the grease around it kind of uh, liquefies and runs into the bearing. I was kind of wondering if that's what the thought was here that's supposed to happen, but that stuff is like, I don't even know if I call that, like what is that? Was it just like an insulation? Like looks like spray foam, a like gooey spray foam. In some bearings, they are uh, impregnated with lube. There'll be like a uh, a bronze bushing, and if you look at it in a microscope, they have like little pinholes all throughout it. Kind of, and you can get a better example. And there's there's an oil that's uh, soaked in the bearing, and the same thing. It just as it if the temperature brings up, it thins out and it, it runs to the outer surface. But I'm gonna go try cleaning that up, and we're gonna go clean that up. And I wonder if this thrust surface here too. Yeah, look at that crap that's on it. I wonder if this stuff that I just broke off. Was maybe preloading it this way so there was no play this way. We're gonna go find out. Let's go see if that. Any, any improvement on the self-adjusting I would say that's probably a little bit better who knows we're going to bolt it together like I said I, I wonder if it was I think it was probably drag on here but sometimes again at the distance from here and here build up and the next thing is should that go back together as is or do we put it in with a little bit of lube what i found before like if you try using like motor oil like 1030 oil it's too thick it'll work for about a day or so and then over time it either attracts dirt or, or it just bogs right up again loads up and, and binds itself up so i'm gonna go look see if i have any what you really need is like sewing machine oil very thin oil let me see what i got so i went in my stash and i found uh, some three-in-one silicone Quick drying, I'm not sure what drying means. Does it evaporate away and leave like a, a, I guess a silicone film? But then I also found some actual electric motor oil. It's a 20 weight. It's a little, I think a little on the thick side for what we're doing. Like I said, I've tried uh, like 1030 motor oil before and had an issue. But it does show a picture of a fan on it. Whether that's quarter horsepower, I think that's probably a little under that. But we'll give it a shot and uh, if it runs fine, and if there's a, an issue, like I run it a couple days later before I put the video up, I'll add that to it. Okay, don't do this. <laughs> also do a little house cleaning while it's apart. Some older electric motors have a an oiler port right at the end of the bearings, and I have a feeling that's what probably what this is for. Looks like I should, probably should have had a wick or something. There's a space at the end there. A, uh, like a felt seal. Maybe that was left out on the budget cuts. Zap them back down. 
You can probably just plug it in the way it is, right? If that works, maybe go look at that switch. That switch is floating out of there, all busted up. Feels better. Things just move better with lube. What's that? Uh, WD-40 advertising? It's actually, I got one hanging on my wall over there. Let's go plug that in there. Think, think it'll work? I think smoke will come out. Ready? Gun shy. Good. Cool. Not saying it's gonna stay working, but it definitely starts up now. Uh, let's go look at that switch. That switch. Let's see if it even does anything first. It's it popped out of its. Yeah, it's broken off. Let's um, relocate you and we'll get a pair of pliers and we'll turn it, see if the speeds change. And noisier, there's an air conditioner. That's that white thing right there humming. Kind of taken away from hearing what's going on with here. See if that does anything. Yep. Yeah. There we go. That's high. That's off. High. Medium. Low. Let's see if I can come up with something to get that switch reattached into that frame. And over to my stash these have knobs and I think these are all gonna be like tractor knobs and probably too big though let's go I'll dig through I find a prize I'll show you so what do you think the chances are some well-placed heat making that go gooey and squish it right onto that <laughs> I don't give it much hope at all, but let's give it a shot. There's no, no adjustment on this one. Oh well. I'm going to try shoving an Allen wrench in it after I get it warmed up. Actually, you know what I should do? Heat the Allen wrench up. Good idea. Let's grab some gloves. enough smoky hole oof go try that right on the fan real fast <laughs> you can see that I'll let that set might have worked I don't have this switch. I kind of guesstimated that pointing it at off too. I think it's off. Was it off? Yes, it's still plugged in. Let that cool down. It'll be our best shot. Maybe the plastics will kind of mix together. In a minute or two, see what we get. Ha. I don't know how. Yeah, see, see look, it's on there pretty good. Good enough. If I had some uh, old radios, it's, that was the size of it, but that's what I had to work with, and we'll see how long it stays on. I'm gonna go clean up the two halves before I put it together so I can get on the inside of them and kind of give them a, a thorough 
bath. And for about 10 minutes worth of work, if I wasn't filming, hi. Medium. Nice. New shop fan for free. Well, guys, I had it over here in the corner for about an hour, hour and a half running. I just shut it off. The motor seems, it gets running cool. Don't see any issues with it. So that seemed to take care of it. Not uh, too much to him, I guess. But at least we saved another one from the landfill and i get a free fan out of it for about 10 minutes of work uh, worth of work if i wasn't filming so short and sweet one doesn't have a gas motor on it but it does have a motor till the next one i'll see you later between then and now stay cool I think the chances are that'll blow back up. What is that? Let's go see. Oh, that's different. Hope that's not what you're supposed to use to blow it up. <laughs>